Hi you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back for another DIY video. Today's video is super exciting. I am making something that uh, is brand new to me. I'm not new to polymer clay. You know that if you've been here a while, we do tons of polymer clay here on this channel, um, but I've never made a polymer clay bracelet. Have you? I'd love to know if you've made one. Leave a comment down below if you have. I'd love to hear from you and what your experience was. But I was actually in these super cute little shops the other day in the downtown area with some of my friends and I saw a polymer clay bracelet. They had used the technique with the, that kind of made it look marbled, I guess. And it was just like a chunk in between these two pieces of gold. It was black and white and they had put resin on it. It was really pretty. Um, and that inspired me to try to make bracelets myself. So I am so pleased with the way these bracelets turned out. I'm wearing the um, sand dollar one right now and then I made a little flower one for this tutorial. So I'm so excited to share with you how to do it. It's so, so easy. And um, I just feel like there's so many options with this. Uh, matching earring sets. You could do necklaces too, like so many options. So. Without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. All right, to make this pretty kind of sandy color, I just mixed white and brown clay together until I got the color that I was looking for. Um, and then to make the actual bracelet, I got these on Amazon. And this is what they look like. They have these two like spots to attach jump rings and then you can attach something in the middle. So um, I'm gonna start with the sand dollar and we're gonna make a little sand dollar bracelet. So I'm gonna start with the sand dollar bracelet and see how that goes. I have my cutter and then I have this sand roller like texturizer thing. So I'm gonna use that as well to try to just kind of make it a little bit more interesting. So I rolled my clay out on my pasta machine at the second thickest setting, and I'm actually going to double this over without creating any air bubbles. So that way I can get the right thickness for the awesome details in this cutter to come through. So I'm gonna dip in some cornstarch here and go right here all right so there's that one and then I'm gonna do one with the texture because I'm not sure which one I'm gonna like better so I'm gonna texturize this side of the clay And dip in the cornstarch again. And let's go into the kind of sandy textured area. Ooh, I really like that. I had a feeling I would. All right. Here are the two pieces. You can see this one has the like texture. These are a little bit thicker than your average clay earrings. Like I mentioned, I doubled it, doubled them over um, because I felt like the bracelet should be a little bit more substantial. Okay, that's not attached, it's just sitting there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these baked at 275 for about half an hour and then we'll come back and assemble the bracelet. All right, while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. And see which one we like better. I'm gonna use this texture mat. So I'm just gonna lay it on the clay and then roll evenly. Okay. 
Okay, that turned out beautifully. All right, and I'm gonna do this fun purple cutter that I just got. I shared in the unboxing video the other day. I'm gonna dip in cornstarch because it's got some really beautiful, intricate pieces there that I feel like are gonna stick. All right. So pretty, I'm gonna do one more just in case something happens to my first one. All right, this is so beautiful, I love, here. I love that texture, what it did for it. So fun, all right, I'm hoping this looks good as a bracelet, we will find out. So I'm gonna get these in the oven as well. And I'll meet you back here, we'll put the, put the, um, put the bracelets together. Right, so the pieces are finished baking. So we're gonna go ahead and get them assembled. Let me grab my bracelet pieces here. Um, so we're gonna need, I have gold here, so we're gonna need some gold jump rings. And um, at this point, if you need to do any sanding, you can do so with your Dremel tool or handheld, um, you know, just by hand. So my plan is to drill holes on either side and have it be just like that, a little cute little sand dollar. So let's do that. I've shared about my Dremel tool in past videos. I'm using the same one. It's always linked in the description box below the video. All right, got that one done. And then I was debating on doing both of these. I don't know, that might be a bit big. You, you could do both potentially. I'm just gonna do one. how cute that looks oh my goodness so cute How cute. I think that turned out so, so nice. I think that's gonna be really beautiful. All right, let's try it with our little, um, little tropical flower. I am so pleased with how these turned out. Look how sweet. I think they're so, so cute. Right, let's put one on. I love how it's adjustable right here. So, so cute. Look, you can have it like tighter so it always stays. You can do it a little looser so it has some room to move but look how fun oh my goodness i love it and the little flower is super cute too you could do this with like any design matching earrings 
so many options. All right, I hope you are as excited as I am about the prospect of polymer clay bracelets. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. It helps my channel so much. Let's me know that you enjoy these videos. I love to hear from you all. So please leave a comment down below and let me know if you're going to make these bracelets. Maybe share it with someone that you think might enjoy this tutorial, but that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, I do all sorts of DIY fun stuff over here. So you don't want to miss any of the videos. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos, which is about twice a week. All right. Thanks for watching the video today and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.